Hi, and welcome back to Eagle TV. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. What about morning? They could be watching it in the morning. You know, it doesn't matter. We have a very exciting show today. We have not one, not two, not three, wait, three summer states in today's episode. That's a lot. We also have an amazing guest on Dad Jokes today, though. Who is it? You'll see. Hi, I'm Karis. And I'm Daniel. Welcome to this week's devotion. This week's devotion is about taking care of what God's given us, Karis. There are so many people, in other countries especially, that don't have the resources, supplies, and things that we have here in the United States. We are very blessed to have things that we do, so we shouldn't take things for granted. Not only that, we should take care of things we have. Don't just listen to me. What does God say about it? Colossians 3.17 says, And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Thank God for everything He has done in your life. For example, right now when you wake up, you should thank God for the blessing that there is yet another day. Life is a gift. Let this be a reminder for you that we should always be thankful for the many things that we are blessed to have in this life. I hope this helps you, and we'll, we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Jordan, and welcome back to Alumni Spotlight. Today I'm here with Kate Baxter and her son, Brett, who is no longer a fruit anymore. <laughs> And she's also an HA graduate and a former heritage teacher who is in the class of 2013. And thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> and <laughs> if you had to choose one of your favorite classes, which one would it be? I would say either history with Mr. Dorman or English with Miss Stevens. Do you have any like favorite memories in those classes? One time when Miss Stevens was like nine months pregnant, um, me and one of my friends, Alyssa Mount, decided that it would be fun to scare her. So I hid oh under gosh. her desk <laughs> and grabbed her legs, and I thought she was about to go into labor right then. But she didn't, um, <laughs> but we never forgot that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And what college did you attend to, and what did you study? I went to Dallas Baptist University, and I studied finance and Spanish. Oh, that's why you were a Spanish that's teacher. That's why I was a Spanish teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and how long did you work at HCA? So I taught at HCA for two years, um, and then my last year I was pregnant and had him. Um, so... Um, I am staying home with him now after that. And what do you do for work now? So now when I'm not watching him, I am designing websites for different businesses and oh, running wow. social media for um, a few businesses also. I saw you posting on it like a lot and yes. all the furniture that you've mm -hmm. done. Yes. And lastly, how did HCA impact your faith? So HCA really taught me how um, faith should be the foundation of every single part of your life, whether that is academics or sports. Um, there should be a foundation of faith there, um, and everything that you do is an opportunity to, to honor the Lord, whether it's volleyball or in history class. Um, and so that really helped me as I have gone through college and then now with working. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Summer States. This week's day is South Carolina, so let's get right into it. Did you know that South Carolina produces more peaches than Georgia? Also, Charleston is the home to one of the oldest trees in the country. It's 500 years old and counting, and the limbs of the tree sprawl across more than 178 feet and stand at 66.5 feet tall. Also, barbecue was born in South Carolina. Stay tuned for another state. Bye. Hey, everybody. Today, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. You know, there's no cares. I'll be doing a segment about rockets that were launched in middle school STEM. We made these rockets in STEM from some really cool kids. And let me say, these rockets went really high in the sky, and some of them even landed with uncracked edge, which was the goal, of course. So here's how the rocket works. The rocket ignites with an engine in it, and it shoots off into the sky from the launch pad. And the guiding rod that you will see, then as the rocket descends back to the ground, Pressure builds up, up in the rocket capsule, which holds the egg to pop the parachute out. It looks really cool, and it can be kind of loud. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hi, and welcome back to HCA Highlights with me, Lily Stillman. Today, I'm going to highlight something that happened last week. Now, if you watched last episode, you noticed some people were not in the normal studio. They were in Washington, D.C. A big group of 8th graders took a trip to Washington, D.C. Like, they went to so many places. 
like how they went to the Capitol, George Washington and his wife's grave, and they went to Thomas Jefferson Memorial, and so much more. It looked like an amazing trip and so much class bonding. I hope you enjoyed today's highlights, and see you next time. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to HCA Trivia. So today, I have Isaiah, and a pretty hard question, I guess you can say. If you if you watch the show, it, it could be easy. And also, we're back in the school. We're not in D.C. anymore, which is pretty good. So, Isaiah, how many episodes of Eagle TV have there been total? 29. You're off by, like, a lot. How many episodes of Eagle TV have been filmed? I have literally no clue. Okay. How many episodes of Eagle TV have been created? 59. You were very close. Okay, so Colton, how many episodes of Eagle TV have been made? 60. That is very close. The answer is 61. Thank you all for tuning in to ACA Trivia, and I'll see you all next time. Griffin, do you know who the sponsors are? Not a clue. Well, it's right over there. Alpha Graphics. Yes. Do you know what the Alpha Graphics is? No, but I know what the alphabet is, mostly. But that's fantastic, Griffin. I, I do too, but Alpha Graphics is very different. For example, did you go to the Spring Musical? Yeah, why? Well, the packet that they handed out was from them. Interesting. You know what's also interesting? What? Weird but true. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Weird But True. This week's weird factoid has to do with bread. Now, I love bread. You can use it for sandwiches, soup, or just eat a plain. So we've all used those twisty ties that close up the bread bags, right? I always end up losing them somehow. But did you know that the color of them actually matters? It's true. If the bread was made on Monday, it has a blue tie, Tuesday, a green tie, Thursday, red tie, Friday, white tie, and Saturday, it's yellow. So now you know, the colors of the bread ties actually do matter. The wacky word for this week is turophobia. The name has actually nothing to do with what the phobia is. Turophobia is actually the fear of cheese. Now, I like cheese. I also know that Mr. Engel really likes cheese. So I wonder how he would react if he met someone with that phobia. Well, that's a question for another day, but for now, just stay weird. Hi, welcome to the book nook. The book I will be reviewing today is Charlotte's Web. I chose this book because it shows that we can all be friends no matter what. It's all about a baby pig who never seemed to fit in, but a little girl saved him from it. He was taken away and was loved by a spider who always helped him. Soon he became popular and helped Charlotte the spider. My mother's second grade class even began to read it, and they love it. I would rate this book a 10 out of 10. That's all for this week. Keep reading. I know, I know you're probably thinking me again, but I have more facts to tell you about Tennessee, so let's get right into it. Did you know that Tennessee is tied for the state with the most borders? The two states with the most borders are Tennessee and Missouri, which is one of the states that Tennessee touches. The other seven are Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, Arkansas, Georgia, Mississippi, and Alabama. A Tennessee lake was created by an earthquake. That lake is called Rillfoot Lake. And Tennessee also has 10 state songs. I find that strange. Well, there's more states to go, so stay tuned for the next one. Bye. Hi, I'm Jordan, and this week's Bible verse is 1 Timothy 5.17. It says, Let the elders who rule will be considered worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in preaching and teaching. Since this week is Teacher Appreciation Week, let's admire all the teachers for their hard work and what they do for us because they are doing God's work. Thank you for watching and come back next time. Hi, I'm Griffin Harrell, and welcome back to Did You Know? Did you know who the voice of Looney Tunes is? Mel Blanc, the man of a thousand voices, is regarded as one of the most influential people in voice acting because of how many characters he voiced in his career. He voiced 30 characters, including Bugs Bunny, in Looney Tunes alone. I'm Griffin Harrell, and now you know. Welcome to Dad Jokes. I'm Dad. And I'm he's Jokes. And he's Jokes. And uh, this is Griffin. He's going to join us today. Also, I have a new mug. I have lots of coffee mugs because, you know, mm -hmm. I love my coffee. But Macy Craddock brought me this, asked me about my dad jokes. So go ahead, ask me about my dad jokes. What are your dad jokes? Thank you for asking. I happen to have some here. So some of these jokes were sent in by Thomas in sixth grade. So we're going to go through his. How does a cucumber become a pickle? How? You didn't even want to guess? No. I just want to hear the punchline. <laughs> it goes through a 
jarring experience. Mm. Yeah, it get sure it, does. They put pickles yeah. in the jar and they get they sure do. aged in vinegar. Yep. Okay, you're up. No. <laughs> I once hired a limo, but when it arrived, the guy driving it walked off. I said, excuse me, are you not going to drive me? The guy told me that the price didn't include a driver. So I'd said, so I'd spent $400 on a limo and had nothing to show for it. That was a long to get to that point, mm -hmm. but well worth it. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Chauffeur it. I don't have anything to chauffeur the guy driving it. Okay. All right. So, do you like Chinese food? It's all right. Yeah. I'm not a big fan. I have a few things that I like, but do you know how you make a good egg roll? How? Put it at the top of the hill and just let it roll down the hill. Why does it have to be a good egg? Well, it should be, you know, because you know, yep. makes it a good egg roll. I guess. If you had a bad egg, I don't know what it would be. I guess it would be a bad egg roll. Bad egg roll. But anyway. All right. You got to blame Thomas for this, not me. I didn't write these jokes. Oh, trust All me, right. I will. Okay. So, I just got a promotion at the farm. I didn't know, first of all, I didn't know that you had a job at the farm. Well... You need to suspend your disbelief a little bit. Okay, so you got a promotion at the farm. I did. Nice, done, okay. Now I'm the CIEIO. CIEIO. CEO. Mm -hmm. CEO. Yep. EIO. Mm -hmm. That's Old it. McDonald. Yep, there you go. Okay, that down. I'm just going to let that one go. I'm not yeah. so sure about that one. All right, so you know generations are given tiles. Of Generation yep. X, baby boomers, mm -hmm. millennials. Yep. Do you know how millennials are weighed? How? Not through the I phone. I could probably answer that phone and they would tell me. Um, they're weighed in Instagrams. Mm. That is terrible. It is terrible. I thought it was timely because of Instagram and... I don't know if you meant that pun timely. I, I hope not. I did. I did. <laughs> All right, got one more for me. I do. Okay. What do you call a blind dinosaur? What do you call a blind dinosaur? Mm -hmm. Blind dinosaur. Do you think he saw us? What do you call a blind dinosaur's pet dog? I didn't get the first one, so I certainly wouldn't know what his pet was. But do you think he saw us, Rex? Because Rex is yep. often named for a dog. Yep, that is. That That's, was the that was the joke. Set up punchline. You got it. Okay, I appreciate that. So I have one to take us out. So. All right. All right. So this was sent in by second grader Kason. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's a second grader's joke. Okay. I have to admit. This is one of the funniest jokes I have heard, and all of you in the studio audience are going to start laughing out loud, I am sure. I'm sure they It's are. truly the best dad joke. I'm sure they are. So, do trees poop? I hope not. Well, sure they do. Of course they do. How else would we get number two pencils? All right. Yeah. That's enough. So we lost him. Clear the studio audience didn't think it was as funny as I thought it was. Until next time, stay funny. For real now, this is the last time you have to see me this episode, so let's get right into Utah. Utah is the second driest state in the United States after Nevada. On average, Utah has about 300 sunny days a year. Salt Lake City, Utah has more plastic surgeon per capita than any other city in the United States. Also, Utah is the only state to have a cooking pot among its state symbols. Well, that for real was the last state for this week. Stay tuned for next week. Bye. So you were the special guest on Dad Jokes? As far as you and the government know. Anyway, that was a really good episode. Well, I don't really know that. Well, you watched the episode, didn't you? It's hard to watch the episode when it's not out by the time you're filming. That's what pretending is. Anyway, like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.